Hey guys, about time, right? Take a look. My steel model, it's scaled and I have some metal that's extending out. I'm not gonna put the column down there. I should, eh, maybe I will. But it's, uh, it's scaled out now, it's steel. I use this uh, new welding um, filler material, the uh, 25023. I've never bothered with 023 before. Oh gosh, it's it's a pain with something like this. I should have left my 3.5 in there. The learning curve was terrible. Look at my uh, my nodal areas I made. I had to stack it up and it was it's the learning curve was terrible on 023. I don't know if you guys ever played with welding. I just wanted to try it out and 40 bucks of the price of a mission. And of course, you know, just learning curve. I I could it's gonna take a little bit longer to get used to it. But I put this on, it's still wet, I've put spray, some spray paint on it. But I put this outside of the deck because that's the way it works. It's outside of the diaphragm area. Um, so I did, I did that. I separated it um, and I put a little torque action on it, I put it off because the failure is off. Uh, off. It just reminds me of that. Um, now this is tied in, locked in so tightly with welds, this is steel. This behavior is, is awesome. Um, it's actually identifying something else for me that that the uh, that they, they might have more nodal or failures within these columns. Those cracks were significant being loaded with, uh, sorry, dirty hands. I'll, I'll show you that when, I, when this dries on the next go around of it. But it's pretty, um, yeah, it's not too bad. So that's what she looks like. And we'll do some deflection. When I create a deflection here, it'll carry an uplift here. Except for already, uh, I did a, I just bonded two pieces of metal to make the, uh, the canopy, if you will. Um, it's very, very interesting so far what, what I've determined. But look at the, uh, this resting on resting at the uh, diaphragm, if you will. It doesn't take much to, on this top deck, to create a, uh, it's, it's not much pressure at all to create a sag in the middle, which gets the uplift at the ends. You can see the deck going down a little bit. Maybe you can, I, I can see it. I'm gonna put weights on it and show you. But it doesn't take much to get this deflection going. And this is scaled. It's scaled, um, I think I'm within about a quarter to three eighths of an inch as far as the uh, couple of the nodal areas were really bigger than what they are here. They had a bigger base, so it's within a quarter to three eighths of an inch. I uh, just lapped this top steel for that and just tacked it, not tacked it, I spot welded. Oh, that will tell you, I'm more complaining about the two, three wire. But you can imagine the load here on the, on the end, on the center span here, how it would create an uplift. See how I separated at that point? An uplift on the ends. And that uplift is where we see back here, the uh, back here is where we see the crack in the deck. So the deck goes out here more, but like I said, I did this to help define things a little bit better. The crack is out here. And so just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna get this video up to you. I I've got to stop for the night, I'm pretty, uh, Pretty tired. I did this in the cold, and with the new the welder repaired now. Not sure what's going on with the welder or the two three. Might be my learning curve. Um, okay. Hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, well, this is just one of many to come, I guess, to show the deflection, or at least one of one more. It's a lot of work for one video, right? But you guys are worth it.